Now to some new developments involving that woman caught on camera falsely accusing a black teenager of stealing her phone. She's now awaiting extradition to New York, but police say her arrest did not go smoothly. Today in New York's Catherine Craig's at the Arlo Hotel in Soho with new information in overnight. Hey, Kat. And yes, good morning to you, Darlene. And as we were talking about earlier, she certainly did not go quietly with law enforcement deputies in California. First of all, as you mentioned, we're here at the Arlo Hotel. This is where the original confrontation happened between the suspect and a teenager. And now, as you take a look at this, this is the mugshot of the suspect, Mia Ponsetto. This mugshot released just overnight. A Ventura County Sheriff spokesman says when law enforcement tried to pull over Mia Ponsetto last night, just outside of Los Angeles, she kept driving to her house, was uncooperative, resisted arrest, refused to get out of her car, and then tried to slam the car door on a deputy. Deputies had to forcibly remove her from the car. This all began when investigators say she went after 14 year old Keon Harold Jr. last month, the day after Christmas, accusing the teenager of stealing her iPhone. It was later found in an Uber and returned to the 22 year old Ponsetto. But the teenager's father, a prominent a musician says his son was tackled and assaulted by Ponsetto and targeted because he's black. Ponsetto is behind bars this morning without bail. Her attorney talked about her client's mental and emotional state. Let's listen. So she lost her phone. She lost her mind. That's what happened. And she is definitely remorseful. This is not about race at all. For her, this is uh, about the phone. And the Herald family released a statement through their attorney, saying in part what this is about is significant societal change. It's about a system that condones and emboldens racial profiling and considers black people guilty until proven innocent. Also, Darlene, we're waiting to find out what charges Ponsetto will face. It is expected Ponsetto will be brought back to New York City to face charges. And right now, there are New York City Police Department detectives in California. They assisted with the arrest. Reporting live, Catherine Craig, today in New York. We'll send it back to you, Darlene. All right.